my dears. So today we're taking a look at the Blick Illustrator markers and we're gonna compare them with several other popular markers on the market. Keep watching. So Illustrator markers by Blick are their new alcohol marker. They are a cheaper alternative to the already very cheap Blick Studio brush markers. And they are double ended markers that feature a brush tip and a chisel tip. And they're on special sale right now through Dick Blick. And if you guys give me a minute, we can check them out, uh, check out the prices. They are avail available in a set of 12 or a set of 24. And since they are at such a special price, I thought I would get a set and then give it away. So keep watching for more information on how you can win this set of 24 alcohol markers. So for now at dickblick.com, the set of 24 is $24.99. That makes it a buck and a penny, or no, not a buck and a penny. More like a buck and four pennies per marker, which is a really good deal for alcohol markers. And um, I should mention this now, because I will probably forget. I am not shipping these markers out of the country because that's going to eat me alive. So unfortunately, this is only going to be eligible to US residents. So we're going to take a look at these, get them open. Now the Illustrator markers use a different body from the Blick Studio brush markers and I am eager to see how they differ. All right, so the back reads Blick Illustrator Markers, alcohol-based brush and chisel nibs. Illustrator markers combine vibrant, easy-flowing alcohol-based inks with dual nibs, making them ideal for coloring on canvas, paper, artboards, and many other surfaces. These markers are quick-drying, non-smearing, and feature both a brush and a chisel nib for easy filling and precision coloring. And by filling, they don't really mean refilling. They just mean filling in areas. Uh, ink made in Korea, nibs made in China, um, Sorry, ink made in Korea, nibs made in Japan, assembled in China. And these are Blick Materials, Galesburg, Illinois, dickblick.com. And we have 24 colors to choose from. And the colors in this set are Marigold, Canary, Pumpkin, Coffee, Praline, Hazelnut, Pale Pink, Sand, Sangria, Plum, Red Rose, Blush, Black, Violet, Amethyst, Periwinkle, Oxford Blue, Gulf Blue, Pastel Blue, Ice Blue, Mint, Sage, Mantis Green, and Apple Green. So actually, it's a very nice selection for 24. This should be a set that is fairly versatile. Now here I have a small uh, visual art journal of Strathmore 500 series plate Bristol. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch on this Bristol. I feel like it's going to give us the best reflection of how the colors actually look. And I'm gonna try to keep them in order. It does seem like this set has a plastic divider at the top. And I'm gonna try not to ruin the packaging since I do plan on rehoming these. All right, so we've got our Blick Illustrator marker out. And if you feel like you're missing something, just make sure you check out natosoup.blogspot.com. And we're gonna go ahead and pull out the other markers we want to compare to. So we've got the original Blick Studio here. We've got a Neo Pico 2 sent to us thanks to Kabocha. We've got a style file marker, which I think the Blick Mar Illustrator marker uses the same body. And we've also got a Copic marker and we've got a Prismacolor marker. And all of these, I believe, are brush markers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll move this to the side. And we're gonna start uncapping these. Move that aside for now. So that is the Neo Pico. The Blick Illustrator marker. Oh, hmm. Not sure what that nib is yet. It kind of looks like the same nib used in the Neo Pico. Then here is the original Blick Studio marker. I wonder if they're just getting rid of the Blick Studio markers. And then this is the style file. Huh. Oh, 
arrange it so that the name is at the top. And that was also sent to me by Kabocha, so I can include it in my comparisons. Although I should admit she wanted me to, <laughs> to set it on fire. And then finally, our Prismacolor. And we're running out of room, so I'll put that Prismacolor up here at the top. There we go. So there is our selection of alcohol markers, and it looks like all of them in this lineup have a foam rubber tip. The only one I don't know about is that Blick Illustrator marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap these markers up. All of these markers have a the color name and the color family on the cap, with the exception of the Prismacolor markers. And I wonder if the new Blick Studio markers are on the same color family name as the old ones, or if they're just style file markers that they bought the license for. So this is the style file marker, and this is the Blick marker. As you got, oh, no, they're not exactly the same. Look, the caps are a little bit different. So, oh, you know what? I didn't grab, I didn't grab a Copic Chow, and I know I have some of those. So I will take a moment. Hmm. There we go. So this is just a colorless blender for the Copic Chow. And as you guys can see, it is a little smaller than your Copic Sketch and it is refillable and you can replace the nibs on these. So if you are looking to acquire um, alcohol markers that will grow with you, I really recommend that you get the Copic Chows because they're refillable and replaceable nibs, more affordable than the Copic Sketch. They just hold a little less ink. So I guess these were released to compete with these, whereas these compete with these. Let us, let us go ahead and start doing some swatching. So this is the Blick Illustrator Mark, and I'm gonna get way up in here for you guys. Yeah, that's a fiber nib, okay. That's why these are cheaper. These are not the foam rubber nibs, they are fiber nibs. And they're not bad, and they're a lot cheaper than, you know, a Copic marker, and a little bit cheaper than a Blick Studio Marker. See, the Blick Studio Marker actually has a foam rubber nib, and I really like those. The problem with these fiber nibs is they get all beaten up and they get mushy and uh, they just kind of bleed all over the place. So that is our illustrator marker. Here is our Copic blender marker. And they seem to be compatible. And it's probably just using the same inks that the brush markers are using. And it's fairly comfortable in the hand. It actually has like a nice almost matte finish on it. Yeah, they're fine. They seem, they seem like uh, the only real change other than, you know, a whole different body is um, the brushes are different. Let's take a look at those chisels real quick. Yeah, it's got a much bigger chisel as well. And it's got kind of like a neat little pearly effect going on the chisel nib, which is unusual. Uh, usually with alcohol markers, the special, special end is the brush end. All right, let's get to a swatching since we have compared this with some very popular other markers on the market. And I always like to do those comparisons, helps you, um, you know, better decide what you are getting. And we have 24 markers to swatch here. So I'm gonna do individual swatches. I'm just gonna use the brush end. And then I will label them. So I'm gonna grab a water-based Stabilo And I'll just do this in time lapse.
right, guys, so that is all 24 colors. It looks like we've got a smattering of skin tones. We've got a couple of neutrals and we've got a fair shake of bright colors. I feel like this is a fairly good selection. And the nice thing is you can always augment, augment it with open stock Blick Studio markers. And we're just going to do a little bit of rainbow blending here just to see how well these colors play with each other. We're not really going to blend back and forth between the colors too much. And keep in mind, these markers are not available open stock. That is the Blick Studio brush markers that are available open stock. And I actually really like the Blick Studio brush markers. And it is often what I recommend to younger artists who are interested in alcohol markers, but maybe their parents don't want to make the full price commitment or to artists like myself who want a bajillion colors or to artists who aren't going to use their alcohol markers enough that their alcohol markers are going to run out. Now I have a huge Copic collection. I do love me some Copics, but I find that the Blick Studio brush markers are a great way to add colors that aren't available in Blick and, um, you know, just dabble around with colors I wouldn't necessarily get a lot of use out of. And these illustrator markers, I really am not a fan of the fiber tip, but I do understand that's a cost saving measure. These could be great if you are say um, a crafter or a card maker, and you just wanna use a little bit of alcohol marker, or you are a parent and you really don't wanna spend all that money on alcohol markers for your kid, but your kid's really, really been begging you. Maybe you've got like a 12 year old who's fairly good at art, and they're really tired of Crayola. And there's a lot you can do with Crayola too, by the way. Um, and I have some videos. I always end up doing those kind of videos around Christmas time. So I have some more Crayola videos coming up, but you know, maybe they want some of the things you can only achieve with alcohol markers. These might be a really good way to sate that sort of alcohol marker candy color sweet tooth without breaking the bank. Now, you really do need to take advantage of that price. I don't know what the price is gonna go up to and I don't know if it's gonna stay similar or if it's gonna get really, really high. Probably not really, really high, that's ridiculous. They're not gonna cost more than the Blick Studio brush markers. And I'll tell you how much those cost after I finish this rainbow swatch here. But I would recommend these for sure over some of those AliExpress markers that I've reviewed. Um, and I know people are really interested in the AliExpress markers and I always try. I mean, there's been a couple of brands that were pretty good and apparently the double line markers aren't available anymore. Uh, so those were the only ones I really would have recommended. I don't really ever recommend the fine color markers, even though I've reviewed two different types of them. Um, they're just not I mean, even these are better than those and they have uh, fiber tips as well. These are actually pretty comfortable in the hand. I like the finish on the barrel. Um, I like that they seem to use the existing Blick Studio brush marker uh, color system. So if you already have some of those or if you wanna upgrade in a little while when these run out, that's a way to do it. Now I do still need to do a full field test and that way we can see whether or not these fiber tips are actually gonna hold up or if they will fall apart immediately. I reviewed some Peter Popper markers from Barnes and Noble a while back and those brush tips just shredded immediately. So hopefully these are a little bit better than those, but so far I am impressed for the price. I look forward to playing with them a little bit more and I hope this video was helpful to you guys. These markers were of course purchased out of pocket and um, you can find more information about the upcoming giveaway at natosoup.blogspot.com. I haven't actually written it out yet. I haven't actually decided it yet. But if you keep checking natosoup.blogspot.com, um, you will find out everything there is to know about it when I have it. And honestly, you should be reading it anyway because it is a phenomenal resource for this sort of information and you're really missing out if you're not checking it out. I cannot laud it enough and I've done 
marker tutorials. I've done a bunch of watercolor tutorials. I make my art school education accessible to people who cannot afford it or do not desire to go to art school. So there's really no good excuse other than you just don't feel like it, which isn't really much of an excuse at all. So I look forward to seeing you guys when I do the field test for these markers. They do not come with a blender marker. Um, I actually don't really use blender markers all that much anyway, other than to demonstrate marker compatibility. So to me, that's not really a big loss. And before we go, so for this limited time offer, the set of 24 is $24.99. Let us see, let us see how much the set of 24 for the Blick Studio brush markers cost. And I think I gave away a set of those a while back or maybe the 12 set. Okay, so the Blick Studio brush markers, that's the slightly nicer one with the foam rubber nib. Those are $34.17. That's still not a bad price. Now, let's take a look at Copic. Copic Sketch. Doo -doop -doo -doop -doo -doo. No, not, not open source. Uh, not, uh, open source. Open stock. Whatever. All right. So do they even have a 24 set? They have all kinds of sets. There we go. Basic set of 24. So for Copic markers, which, and these are the Copic sketches. I'll tell y'all what Copic chows cost in a minute. But for Copic markers, you would pay $125.75 per marker. Yes, they are refillable. Yes, they do have replaceable nibs, but you don't get the ink refills with these. Now, I do really like these and I use markers a lot, so I think they're worth the investment. But if you're new to markers and you're not sure, maybe don't spend all that money on them right off the bat. Now, before I say goodbye, let's see what the chows cost. Let me see, where is a chow to show you guys? I believe in giving you guys visuals. All right, set of 24 markers is 86.16. So even the chow, 24 of these is 86.16. These, a set of these is over $100. A set of these is $34, it's super reasonable. And right now, a set of these is $25 on uh, dickblick.com. And I, they are not a sponsor of me. I just, I hear so many people complain, oh, traditional media art supplies are so expensive. So I take that as a challenge and I'm like, I will show you otherwise. I will give you some good alternatives because I review art supplies. I have a bajillion tea art supplies at my fingertips and I have got eight years of art supply review knowledge to back this up. So you guys can trust me. I am your big sister. I am big sister back and y'all can trust me. And I honestly have nothing to gain from this. If you guys got really, really good at markers, that's just hurting me. So um, they, none of these people are a sponsor of this channel. I just wanna see you guys succeed and I just wanna see my knowledge live on in other people. And I wanna get you guys fired up about making art and I want y'all to feel empowered. So again, keep an eye out for the field test for this. Keep an eye out at natosoup.blogspot.com for information on how you can win this set. And keep watching this channel for more art supply reviews and tutorials. Bye, guys.